Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. In West Philadelphia, born and raised, on the playground is where I spend most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool, all shooting some b-ball outside of the school. When a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight, and my mom got scared. She said, you're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. I begged and I pleaded with her day after day. But she packed my suitcase and sent me on my way. She gave me a kiss and then she gave me a ticket. I put on my Walkman and said, well, I might as well kick it. First class, yo, this is bad. Drinking orange juice out of a champagne glass. Is this what the people of Bel Air living like? Hmm, this might be all right. But wait, I hear they're prissy, bourgeois, all that. Is this the type of place that they just send this cool cat? I don't think so. I'll see when I get there. I hope they're prepared for the Prince of Bel Air. Well, the plane landed, and when I came out, there was a dude looked like a cop standing there with my name out. I ain't trying to get arrested, I just got here. I sprang with quickness like lightning, disappeared. I whistled for a cab. When it came near, the license plate said fresh, and there were dice in the mirror. If anything, I could say that this cab was rare. But I thought, nah, forget it. Yo, Holmes, to Bel Air. I pulled up to the house about seven or eight, and I yelled to the cabbie, Yo, Holmes, smell you later. I looked at my kingdom, and I was finally there to sit on my throne as the Prince of Bel Air.